All right, what's up everyone? I'm here at the Lone Star School of Music in Westlake, Austin, Texas, and we're in the drum room. And we're gonna talk about ghost notes today. I got my sticks ready to go. So, what is a ghost note? So basically, a ghost note is an unaccented note. So what do we mean by an accented note? Well, an accented note means that you're, you're putting an emphasis on this note. Let's say we're gonna play 16th notes. So we're gonna play one E and A. Uh, and I tell you to accent the quarter note. That would sound like this. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Okay, so that's a lot like a metronome if you've used a metronome before to practice. The first click is louder um, and the, the next three clicks of the measure are going to be quieter. So we call that an accented stroke. So a ghost note is basically an unaccented note. It, it's a little bit more specific than that. So we do think of it as being played on the snare and I think of it as sort of, you know, textural sounds in between the notes of your beat or of your groove. So today I'm going to show you a really quick exercise on how you can get started with ghost notes if you've never tried to play them before or if you've heard about them but you don't really know where you should play them. Where do they go in the beat? This exercise is a really easy way to get started playing with ghost notes and incorporating them into a groove. So if I told you to play a measure of 16th notes and to accent the quarter note, that would look like this. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Okay, so a little bit faster. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. And of course, any exercise, you should also play it on the opposite hand. So let's play that starting with the left hand. That will be one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Okay, so there's your accented and unaccented strokes. When we talk about ghost notes, it usually means unaccented strokes on the left hand that come in between your accents. And usually when we are playing accents on the left hand in a groove, we call that the backbeat. So the backbeat usually means beats two and four. So if I play a super basic beat, bass drum on one and three, snare drum on two and four, and hi-hats on eighth notes, the backbeat is going to be my accented strokes on two and four on the snare. So that sounds like this. Okay, so, and that's great, but what if we want to spice it up a little bit, add a little bit of life into that groove? I'm going to make only a few changes to it. So the first step is we're going to add a bass drum. We're going to add a bass drum on the and of three. Okay, so the bass drums are going to be on one and the and of three. We're going to play eighth notes on the hi-hat. So that's one and two and three and four and. So that's consistent the entire time. The change here is we're going to add in our ghost notes. So the way to do that is to take your eighth note grid, so one and two and three and four and, let's turn that into a sixteenth note grid. So that's gonna be one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay? And so let's just play that right now between the hi hat and the snare. So that would sound like this. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Okay? 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. We're going to insert these left hand 
on the 16th notes into this groove. So to count this whole groove, it would sound like this. One E and two and a three E and four and a one E and two and a three E and four and a... So here's what the groove sounds like. So the way we count that, I'm going to play through it really slow and count through it with you. And you can try this at home. Okay? So, one E and two and a three E and four and a one E and two and a three E and four and a one E and two and a three E and four and a one E and two and a three E and four and a Okay, so that's really it. Um, the key is the two and the four we are going to accent. And the way to get an accent is to just bring your stick up further, right? So if we drop it from a noon, from a 12 position, that's our accent. So that's going to be two. So one E and two, right? And the way I do that is I bring both sticks up at the same time since I'm playing cross-handed. So I'll show you that again very slow. One E and two. One E and two. Okay? So every other note on the left hand, aside from the two and four, are going to be played very quietly. So you can practice doing that just by pr playing 16th notes with your right hand playing the quarter notes and the ands, and your left hand playing the e's and the ahs. So that sounds like this. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you can practice just the hands first. Now let's add the accented stroke on two and four. So that's gonna be one e and two. Okay, now let's add the bass drum. So once again, the bass drum is on one and the and of three. So that's going to sound like this.